Good morning all, uh, my name is Diana Sulemenova. I am a computer, uh, PhD student in the Department of Computer Science uh, at Brunel University of London. Today I would like to raise awareness of forced migration. According to UNHCR data, there are 67.75 million people forcibly displaced <coughs> worldwide, of which more than 17 million are refugees and more than 36 million people are internally displaced people. So my research uh, focuses on quantitative data analysis of forced migration and developing an automated simulation tool that can predict refugee movements. Uh, why is it important? Because refugee lives matter and uh, it's, uh, it's important to allocate correctly humanitarian resources for countries as well as uh, complete incomplete data collections on refugee movements. And third reason is that investigating the consequence of a nation uh, closing borders for refugees is also uh, an important issue. How do we do it? Uh, sorry for the image, <laughs> but why is it like that? Um, so what we have a simulation uh, tool. Uh, which is manually done at the moment. So what we do is we choose a country which, are, which has a conflict, which choose a time period. Uh, after that, we collect data from accolades, which gives us violence uh, events and time where they, they occurred. We have an HCR database which provides us camp names, and we take the total number of refugees within the conflict. And then we create uh, our initial model uh, connecting these two uh, source uh, location and destination with your spatial locations. After constructing our initial model, we refine it with population data as well as with border closures if any countries are closed between each other. We simulate our uh, model with free code that's based on Python script and uh, it's uh, optimized for its simplicity and uh, flexibility. After we get our results, we validate it. So uh, this model phases are not, uh, is not uh, it's decreasing our productivity because it's, it's done all manually. Hence, uh, I'm, I'll be grateful for your advices and expertise, how we can make this automated and more efficient. Uh, I, the last, I want to thank uh, my team members that were on last year's half day, who helped me to uh, come up with this idea of and uh, produce visualization and presentation, which is also in conference paper. So you're acknowledged in the paper, John. Uh, so yeah, please find me afterwards. Thanks.